This router bit cuts a quarter of a circle, so it will round any corner with a precise diameter. I lift the router bit until the bottom edge is flush with the table top. And I align the veering with the fence. So now I wrote all four corners of the wooden strip, but just half the long of the wooden strips. It would be better to use some side and vertical pushers, but because these are long pieces, I can keep my hands far from the router bit. Now I turn the wooden strip and I can route the corners in the other half of the workpiece. Ok, I didn't connect the vacuum under the router table, so sawdust accumulates there around the router bit. I make another wooden rod So it would be better to pass the square section strips through the thickness planer before using the router table to make the wooden rods. Maybe this is not a good method to make thin wooden rods, but making these thick rods was fast and easy, and with some little improvements, sure they would only need some little sanding. And now I have to sand the wooden rods using medium grit sandpaper and fine grit sandpaper. The main problem is that in a homemade router table it's not easy to set perfectly both the router bit position and the router fence. So the wooden rods are not perfectly round and the thin flat faces have the marks of the circular saw blade. And here we can see the final wooden rods after sanding them. These are perfect for the woodworking project that I will make. Thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to click the bell to get all the notifications when I upload a new video.